Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play 3 Random PC Engine Games. I'm sure you know the drill by now and if you don't it's pretty straightforward. I play 3 random PC Engine games and I pick those games at random using the Wheel of Names. So let's spin the Wheel of Names and see what game I get first. And first up this time is an arcade conversion. This is Rabio Lepus Special or Rabbit Punch I think it was called in Western Territories. So let's load this one up. This was a game that I actually owned the Who card of, so I've played this one before. It's a scrolling shooter, nice cute title screen there, and it was manufactured or produced by Video System. Uh, it started off as an arcade game, as I mentioned it's a conversion, and uh, I bought the Who card of it many years ago, and then sold the Who card, and bought the arcade board. I sold the Who card because I bought the arcade board, and then the arcade board, as a lot of them do, stopped working. So now I've got no version of it. Uh, so anyway, I've never really actually played it that much despite having various versions of it so let's take a look at it now as you've already seen it's a horizontally scrolling shooter you get three credits by the looks of things no other options I've switched the auto fire on on the PC engine pad for this one so button one or button two actually I always get the buttons the wrong way around on the PC engine pad for some reason uh, is shot and the other button fires missiles which I'll just press there so you get to fire a bunch of missiles you get uh, Oh, Ooh, that didn't go well. You've also got shields. So you've got three shields. Um, you've got a selection of missiles. Fire some more there to get rid of some of these enemies that are all over the place. You get re those restocked from pods that you could, you've already seen. Let's fire some missiles at that thing because that's big. Blowing that up. So yeah, you, your spaceship is basically a rabbit, um, and he can punch when you get close to. Oh, he can when you get close to things. He does actually throw punches. I think. I'm not quite sure how you do that. Uh, maybe it just does it automatically. Um, yeah, so after a bit of a boring start there, this is very R-type looking. Um, you know, you've now gone into a, an area that looks very much like the first level of R-type. Lots of things to destroy. Also things like that that fire at you. You see, he punched there. I think it's just when you're close to things you punch them, basically. Uh, now he's got a lovely bow tie on for some unknown reason. Uh, so, ooh, there he goes. Oh, I thought, no, I've still got some shields there. So I'm not doing too badly so far. As I said, I've played this before, but never played it much and never been particularly good at it. Um, it's quite a tough game. You get lots of things firing at you like that. You have to move past quickly. Narrow gaps to move through. Quite a big ship. Uh, but he's nicely drawn your rabbit ship. Oh, end a level boss. Oh, and I'm dead. <laughs> okay, well had a big store stock of missiles there um, if only I could have unleashed some of them having some shield left at that point would have been nice as well I suppose oh, see sometimes the power-ups just drop down the bottom of the screen a bit annoyingly yeah I can't get that one either I don't think ooh that's throwing a lot of bullets uh, so yeah, it's pretty standard scrolling arcade shoot 'em up for this era. Um, very much influenced visually by our type, you would suggest, and uh, music's quite jolly, as befits a game with bunnies in, I suppose. I don't think there's any explanation as to why you why you're flying a bunny. Oh well, that didn't take much to get rid of. Once you fire all the missiles at it, it just kills it straight away. Oh, that was just a mid-level boss, though, of course. Oh, hello. This suddenly got more difficult. Um, so you do get some checkpoints, it doesn't send you right back to the beginning, so that's pretty good. Ooh. Again, that guy, straight left over from our type really. You could you could literally be flying through the same... Oh, there goes another life. Uh, flying through the same um, level as our type, pretty much, this first level. It's got a bit of parallax scroll with, the background's quite detailed. Ooh. Oh, you can walk along the floor as well. I was assuming I would crash into the floor, uh, but no, you can actually walk along it, so that's good to know for future reference. Oh, this looks bad. Oh, you can blow those up, okay. Oh, how are you supposed to get through this? Not easily, you know I'm dead. You've got to blast them from the top then. Still got a life left, have I? No, that was game over. Okay, well I haven't been playing for too long, so let's continue. 
at least use one of the continues up. See if I can get to the end of the level. Oh, it sent me right back to the start. Annoying, but there you go, that's what you get really. It is based on an arcade game after all, so they want you to put as many coins in as possible to make progress in the game. See if I can get to the end of level boss. Mm. Oh. A lot of things, I suppose you should use these missiles quite frequently because you pick them up quite often and there's plenty of them when you do pick them up so and it, each time you fire them it fires like six or seven or maybe even ten I don't know um, so yeah I should probably use them more often to get myself out of trouble I will inevitably run out but doing that I wonder what the bow ties signifying just cuteness I suppose just cute Japanese-ness The music's um, a bit boring, it has to be said. Still got plenty of bombs left, so Let's see if I can get to this boss this time the mid boss and get past that first time that'll help come on oh no get away oh there you go got away with it oh no how sad the rabbit looks when he gets hit as well. It's weird that you can walk on the bottom of the screen. I don't know if there's any advantage to doing that or not. Oh, I'm nearly out of missiles now. I need some power-ups. Yeah, here, you, you've got to get up the top, don't you? I suppose blasting them again with the uh, the missiles probably help. There we go. I got a bit further than last time at least. Look like I'm coming to a boss here as well. Yep, here we go. Oh, what's that? Oh no, there's things that just stick around. Oh no, I'm dead. But I have got two lives still, so... See how I get on. Where's it sending me back to? I think yeah, where this thing comes along the bottom of the screen. Just get rid of all those. Oh no, use that of course. Oh it's get oh no. Those things get stuck to you if you don't destroy them. Yeah, that went badly. And that's game over again so you did just about see the end of level boss but I think that'll do for that one uh, I don't think it's a classic it's um, got a bit of cult status I think but it's quite a hard game I think you can play it two players simultaneously certainly in the arcade I'm sure you can uh, so again it's yet another shooter on the PC engine that is okay but not really particularly outstanding this is Rabio Leaper's special by the way uh, I don't know what makes it special compared to the arcade version because as I said I never played either of them that much but with that let's move on to game number two in this episode the wheel is spinning once again then for game number two and it's going to be Dungeon Explorer and this is another game that I used to own on a Who card let's load it up This is one of those games that costs almost nothing or used to, it's one of the cheapest games you could get on a loose who card for like a couple of quid or something like that, certainly when I was first collecting for the PC Engine. It's one of those games where I just didn't think I was ever really going to play it very much and that's probably going to be true after this video as well. Uh, but it's let's just get on with it because it's a sort of light RPG, nice bit of parallax scrolling on that um, landscape there. How many people would you like to play? push run and hold for up to five players one okay yeah so basically it's just me you can have up to five simultaneous players on this it's a bit gauntlet like in places uh, right let's just get on with this 
So I'm going to play as a... We'll look at all the options. Let's go as an elf. So there you go, as an elf who looks a bit like the elf in uh, Gauntlet. Uh, and to begin with, like most RPGs, you start in uh, a village uh, and there's a castle I think as well if I remember rightly. Uh, the people telling you stuff about what's going on around the uh, the world that you're in with um, there's a baddie basically who's going to kill people or um, or the devil, he's basically the devil so pretty serious enemy to have to face, the devil you would say uh, so yeah, the eight, uh, what I'm going to do is go th to all these huts um, and not record the video and actually start the video once I've got to the uh, the um, king of the castle and spoken to him because otherwise he's just going to see me wandering around a load of huts and the time's going to run out so yeah I'm going to pause the timer pause the video and rejoin me when I've had a bit more of a look round and go a little bit further into the quest okay so I've had a bit of a look round the village and I've been into all the huts and been given information by villagers that's going to help me with my quest and basically I've got to go to the castle and speak to the king which I'm doing now. Here we go. Welcome, brave one. Waited a long time. Mission awaits you. Magic aura stone. Anyone who obtains the stone will have the power to rule the world. You must find the aura stone and bring it back to me. Why would I give this guy the power to rule the world? If the devil finds the stone first, he will wreak havoc on us all. Go to the lock dungeon in the south of the castle. My man Judas is waiting there for you. Uh, and some special magic that you'll need to fight the enemy. Okay, so I've got some magic. So basically, yeah, it's it's kind of an RPG, um, but it's more of an action game, top-down uh, action game like Gauntlet. So it, it's it's got a bit more talking to people in shopping and things like that. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, than uh, Gauntlet's got, but um, ultimately when you get in a dungeon, it's very similar to Gauntlet. Lock Dungeon near head west to find Melba Village. Okay. So this is the entrance to a dungeon here. As I say, I have played this a little bit before, but not very much. This I've, basically all I remember is getting into a dungeon and saying, seeing that yes, the game works, and I'll play it again sometime in the future, and then never did. But yeah, you can see um, slime emanating from a generator there. Annoyingly, once you've shot them and got weapons uh, or power-ups or things you've picked up, then uh, you can't shoot the generator. But you can shoot the generators just like in um, Gauntlet. So I guess I guess I'm stuck there. I can't move that at the moment. So let's go down here. I guess. Okay. Let's see what happens. So yeah, once you get into the dungeons, it becomes very much like Gauntlet. It's a top-down. There's different kinds of enemies. Oh, I didn't last very long there. Died already. And again. Wow. There's a lot of stuff on screen straight away. I'm going to escape down here. Let's try and... Ooh, what's this? Okay. This looks a little bit less chaotic. Oh, I say that. But now, yeah, that's chaotic as well. So, yeah, different enemies. The graphics are quite nice. They're not... Um, you know, they're all quite small, I suppose, but um, they're quite nicely drawn. Oh, there goes another life. Good lord. You don't last very long in this game without getting killed. I've got four hits. I can't even get back out of here. I guess that improves my speed. Yeah, one hit. One hit and I'm dead. Wow. Very hard to get things before... It's hard to get to the generators. Oh, there you go. I'm dead again. Wow. <laughs> I literally got killed as soon as I appeared on the screen then. Maybe this is why I didn't keep it. Because, oh, <laughs> I mean, that's it. Game over. Wow. I really didn't last long there. It's gauntlet, but like mega, mega hard. And you only get like a small number of hits before you die. It does have a password system. As you can see there, you're given a password at the end when you die. I don't know what's going on now seems to have crashed I can't nothing's happening I can't whatever button I press uh, isn't working so in a word screw that I'm not playing it again not based on how hard that was I can't believe how hard that was right from the start you think the first dungeon would be pretty easy to get into and I can't 
can't do anything now it seems to have crashed so forget it let's move on to the next game all I can say about Dungeon Explorer is um, it's basically like Gauntlet but really hard slightly better graphics probably but a very similar idea pick up objects and use them and do quests and all that kind of RPG Dungeons and Dragons kind of stuff and yeah let's move on to the next game the final one for this episode that was a bit of a shocker that I'm just taking a quick moment to say thanks to all my channel members whose names you can see on screen now in my supporters hall of fame if you're enjoying this video and would like to support my channel then why not become a member yourself for a monthly fee starting from just 99 pence you can get access to special membership perks such as your name in the supporters hall of fame on every video early access to most of my content member only polls and even choosing games for me to play in future videos if you're interested then please click on the join button below this video for more information alternatively if you're not able to commit to a monthly contribution but would still like to support my efforts then you could give a super thanks this one-off donation gives you a highlighted comment on whichever video you choose to click the button on and anyone doing this will also get a shout out from me on a subsequent video again you can find the super thanks button below this video you can also help raise the profile of this channel by liking this video and leaving a comment which helps improve my ranking in the mysterious youtube algorithm any support you can give financial or otherwise is greatly appreciated one thing I didn't mention about Dungeon Explorer is it's got a really good soundtrack, not that you heard much of it in that video because that all went terribly. Never mind, let's move on to the final game for this episode, which is Monster Pro Wrestling. Let's hope we have a bit more joy with this one than the last one. Okay, so we're going to get some Japanese language here by the looks of it, certainly the name of the game, although at least it tells you to press the run button. This is a 1991 game from Ask Koden Kodansha and Linor, whoever they are. So we've got one player or two player or continue, obviously I'm going to play one player. So I've got to pick a monster. There are a lot of wrestling games on the... Uh, he's a happy looking guy. Let's go with this guy. A lot of wrestling games on the PC Engine, um, some of them using an isometric perspective, I'm not sure what goes on with this one, there's a lot of Japanese text which I can't read, can I skip it, yes I can, okay so I'm some kind of monster in a laboratory, some guy's telling me something, right okay, monster making stage, okay so I've got 30 power to add to what's already there have I, okay so I've got hit points, probably up those a bit because I don't know what I'm doing, give me more of a chance, ST probably strength, MP no idea, SP probably speed I guess and then GT no idea but I didn't have any to start with so let's give myself 10 of those at least some of the uh, text is in English so I'm fighting against some kind of a zombie I've got more hit points, I've got worse strength, I've got the same MP I've got slightly better speed if that's what it is and the same GT whatever that is so some text is happening Ooh, okay, let's just press the one. Okay, so it's first person. Oh, okay, I've got to choose the amount of guts and magic I'm using. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. So, yeah, you've got to use a certain amount of guts. I don't know what the hold's about. Let's go with power and guts and then press this button here. Nope, that button there, it's got, it says 11. And the other guy, he's done something and 18's happened. So you're just picking a number at random and then... Did he get me then? I guess he got me. Okay, so it's sort of a... Like, not really a, an action game, more of a strategy game, or like a card battle Pokemon kind of thing. So you've got a certain amount of guts to use. So let's use four guts and then you can hold hit magic or power. Let's go with magic. And then there's a this random numbers generating in the top left here while the two guys are facing off against each other. And I guess if you get a higher number than the opposition, then you get hit on it. 15. 14. Does that mean I won then and I'm gonna do the damage this time? Some eyes are glowing. Oh yeah, I think. Oh yeah, he sent some piranhas. Piranhas, magical piranhas eating the enemy and yeah, did him some damage I think. 
are very random. Okay, so we do the same again, I guess. So, hold power magic or hit. Let's try hit this time with guts of two. And, yeah, all right. I really don't know what's going on here. But I beat him again. It looks like I got higher. Oh, he's doing a run at him. So it's more like, yeah, it's definitely sort of like a card battle uh, Pokemon kind of thing where you've got to match, pick, pick a move and try and get the right move and, and also beat them by generating a better random number, which I seem to have done all right at so far. So let's go with magic again, I guess. I don't really know. 10. I bet he beats me this time. Yep, 12. So I'm guessing he's going to get hit on me this time. There doesn't seem to be any way to block that. Can't really work out what's going on. There's a lot of text there that I don't understand. There's some good animation and nicely drawn graphics. The Japanese, they love these kind of games, don't they? These kind of strategic, um, randomly generated battles. But yeah, he's hit me that time. I've done 21 damage. That wasn't ideal. So let's let's go with power this time, I guess. 13. 12. Oh, does that mean I get a hit on him this time then? Don't know what happens here. It says B there, but I don't know what the B means. Yeah, no idea what's going on. It's one of those strategic battle games. And oh, I've smashed the guy to the floor. And... Oh, he's got three, three hit points left. So here we go again, one last time. I've got no guts left now. Um, so let's just go with hit again, I guess. Seven, this isn't going to go well. Oh, he beat me by one. Does that mean he's going to kill me? I've no idea. He got me. A lot's going on. He's, he's done seven damage to me, I think. No, I got. I don't know what happened there. I seem to have blocked that one because not my hit points didn't go down. So let's go with power, and I hope to get a high number here. Eight, not a very high number. Probably not going to. No, of course he's going to get more than me. I feel like this is one of those games where the CPU opponent almost always gets a better random number and it's not like you can even see the number it's spinning around so fast so you're not really making an educated guess of when to stop it oh yeah and he's killed me what what the hell random just very random i mean and it's around it's totally random whether you're doing any damage or not because it's up i think it's up to that random number generator as to whether you succeed or not so my guy is looking defeated over a sunset which is very nicely drawn nice graphics in this game and the sounds pretty cool as well the music's quite nice i just literally got no idea what's going on what's happening now okay so i'm back to the monster making stage uh so what's going on give myself more guts can i take stuff away no you can't take stuff away so I don't know if I'm fighting someone else, no, I'm fighting the same guy again. I don't know if that was game over or if this is just another round, maybe you play multiple rounds against him or something. There's so much text there. Right, well, let's let's give it another go. Let's go with two guts, let's go with the magic again, that seemed to work well last time. Nine, I mean, it could have been nine, it could have been fifteen. Oh look! He's beaten me again. It's, it seems very unfair. If you were picking that random number based on some kind of skill, you know, stopping a, a, a bar going backwards and forwards on the screen or something like that, then that would be okay. But if it's just genuinely a random number that you can't even see... Let's try the magic again and, and two guts again go three guts. I don't know what the guts is, maybe that's the, le the amount of damage you'll do. If you succeed nine again, he's going to get more than nine, isn't he? Oh no he hasn't, he's got six. So, get on with it then, something's happening. Here come the piranhas again, my guy's obviously like a merman of some kind, so he sends 
particular fish at the opposition. <laughs> Some really good uh, comical uh, graphics and they're really nicely drawn as well. 17 damage, I really did sum on in them. Okay, let's go. I don't know what hold does, so I probably won't win anyway, but 9 again. 9, oh, even. But what does that mean? Nothing. What is going on? Just lots of explosions. Stars. Oh, well, I seem to have won that and done 17 damage on the guy. I might actually beat him here. He doesn't look well. He's, he's got a very bloody head. Let's go with power this time. 11. Is it going to be good enough? Oh, it is. I think it, it, it does unfortunately just seem to be pure luck as to whether you get the hit or get hit. <laughs> there's a lot going on. I, I must surely take him out here. Yeah, there we go. I, I've defeated the zombie guy and he's exploded into a load of arms and legs. So, yay. Now what happens? I don't know. Do I get to steal some of his power or something? I'm not sure. But... Oh yeah, okay, so I think you get to absorb some of the abilities of the people that you've... or the things, the monsters that you've killed. There's loads of good cutscenes. It's probably better if you can read Japanese, but I think I get the idea of it. It does seem, as I said, very random. Uh, and my time's nearly up on this one. So I'm probably going to, well I'll just carry on until the timer comes to an end, but I mean, yeah, let's load up the guts again and get going. See who we face next. Oh, some kind of bug guy. Get on with it. And there we go, my time's just run out on my timer. So let's just do one, one hit and let's just go full guts and power. There we go. Okay, so the more guts you add, the higher it'll make your random number, but then you've used them up. I think is what's going on there. So I'm going to get the hit on him. So I kind of get how it works now. It does. It is still very much based on random number generation. Uh, but yeah, the um, the visuals are good on it. I, I'm really quite enjoying all the cartoon violence and all that kind of stuff. Everything's really nicely well drawn. Uh, music's pretty Japanese, but um, yeah. It's okay, I, I will never ever play it again, but it's kind of interesting, it's a bit different from the normal games that you get on, the, well any British games or Western games, you wouldn't get a game like this that wasn't made in Japan. Oh, he, he got me that time and he's, he just unleashed a swarm of flies on me. Anyway, that's probably enough um, Monster Pro Wrestling. Uh, I'd have to say that's probably the best of the three. Dungeon Explorer, I don't know what went on there. Rabio Lepus or Lepus. Uh, was okay it's a pretty generic horizontal shooter from that time uh, of you know early 90s um, but yeah this was another not great selection of games but that's how it goes when you're picking three games at random sooner or later i'm sure i'll pick out some good ones so if you've got any thoughts about any of these games then let me know in the video comments and i'll be back with another random pc engine game selection sometime in the near future plenty of other retro gaming content in the meantime so thanks very much for watching this video and until the next time see ya